hello. Um, we'll be happy, very honored here to be with uh, Huang Rei, who is um, a contemporary Chinese artist joining us from Beijing, and he's one of the founding members of um, the STARS artist group. Um, I've known Huang Rei for many years, um, and he's been a mentor, and I've also been researching him for many years. I think we've known each other for eight years. And um, I am a uh, curator, an independent curator, and um, have been studying the STARS group, particularly their exhibition history. Um, uh, so we wanted to just quickly thank Asia Now for the opportunity to introduce to you today um, a really important project for the STARS group, um, which is the 40-year anniversary publication. Um, and special thanks to Alexandra for, for having this talk, also to Stefano um, for the conversations program, um, and to Magda Nice Gallery and Alex, who's going to be helping us a bit with translation. Um, so this year, actually only a few weeks ago, there was a really important milestone in the history of uh, Chinese contemporary art, which was the 40-year anniversary of the exhibition that took place outside of the uh, National Art Museum in Beijing, so the, the photo that you see here. Um, and, and this happened on September 27th. Um, and so this, uh, this in late 1970s, at the close of the Cultural Revolution, just to give a little context, a group of young artists that were largely autodidact, um, they endeavored to create artworks that would depart from present norms and start to uh, express individual ideals. Um, the first exhibition that was organized by the STARS group, um, it was organized without any sort of official consent, and it was closed down on its third day by the authorities. Um, it was one of, though, the most impactful exhibitions in the history um, of contemporary Chinese art immediately following the Cultural Revolution. So I've just um, created a little presentation with some photos for you, um, and these photos are all courtesy of the STARS Art Foundation Archive, which um, is, a, is an archive that's been compiled uh, by Huang Rei over the last 40 years, and, it, and it's comprised of documentary photographs from a number of, of um, artists that were active at the time, and also primary documents, primary source documents, and uh, some, some original pieces as well. And so in the, in the publication, these are some of the things that we've put forward. Um, and for the first time, visitors will be able to access uh, translated primary resource documents about the STARS group, um, see a lot of the photographs firsthand, and we hope that it'll also be an opportunity for future research. Um, so the, the STARS exhibitions represent for many scholars a culmination of a really particular period um, in the artistic and cultural opening of China and the beginning of an avant-garde in the post-Mao period. Um, the group was led and founded by Huang Rei and Ma Sheng and Wang Keping. So here's a piece by Wang Keping. Um, and it was a movement um, in addition to exhibitions and in addition to an artist group. And it was a movement for artistic democracy. Um, and what that means very simply, I'm going to let Huang Rei uh, take over for the rest of the talk after this and tell you more about it. But what that meant was that art could be pursued by people that were not part of the official institutions. And art could be about your individual feelings, your individual ideas. Um, and it didn't have to be didactic. It didn't have to conform to one, one style. Um, and that was something very, very new. Um, so some of you may already be familiar with the stars. Some of you may know nothing about it at all. And so just before we start talking about the group um, and about its, its origins, I wanted to show you a few artworks because that'll get us a bit into the, into the mood. Um, if you're not familiar with the group, you may be familiar with some of the artists because this was a starting point and origin for some of the really important names in contemporary Chinese art today. So here's a, a print by Ma Sheng, who's also exhibited at the fair. Get um, Song Hong. Um, this is an early watercolor by Ai Weiwei. Was one of the youngest uh, members in the Stars Group. Um, and then I have a few works by Huang Rei. <laughs> so today the plan is that um, I'm going to have a conversation with Huang Rei, ask him a few questions about the origins of the group and also the context of the emergence of this very particular environment in Beijing. Um, so how did this artist group come to be and why, why is it relevant actually? 
And for the sake of time, we're going to focus on that period um, rather than go through a timeline of events because you can find all of that in the book. And then uh, after that, we would like to just present to you some of the particularities of the, of the publication. So, um, The first STARS exhibition was in 1979. So here we have a kind of a, a long view where you can see there were 150 artworks that were exhibited, um, over 23 artists that were taking part. Um, and this was a period of hope for the future. Um, on all levels of society, it was full of energy. Um, and so, let's start with, I wanted to start with um, this painting by Huang Rei, because I think it really sets the stage for where we are in China at this time. So um, with the death of Zhou Enlai and then the death of Mao Zedong, um, 1976, there's a downfall of the Gang of Four. There's a period that's happening um, of freedom and it's a brief period of freedom um, in the late 1970s. Um, so could you tell us a bit, Huang Rei, about the, um, the feeling of this era and of the Beijing Spring? And I'm thinking specifically, um, how did certain political events, how did these lead to a certain liberty in the arts? Uh, uh, from 以后停息了 uh, there was a first period of uh, uh, relative uh, freedom opening up when Zhou Enlai uh, passed away for a few months until uh, uh, Mid Autumn Festival. Uh, okay. 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 Uh, 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 um, when Mao Zedong passed away, uh, the first was a period of uh, that was very tense, and then uh, it was the, and then this movement was born, which was the uh, which is called the Wall of Democracy. This is in Chutian的时候,哦,从北京,北京长安街,西单,有一块,呃,汽车总站的外墙,呃,它是自然发生的,呃,可是从一开始,我就发现了这个地方,而且呢,我觉得,呃,这也是我经常去的,我差不多每个
，像《探索》呀，《四五论坛》、《沃土》、《北京之春》这样的杂志。嗯、um, ，So people started started hanging up these posters, which are called Dazobao, and there was also、uh, new magazines that were circulating. 那么，呃，我因为和诗人关系很好，十月份就是这一年的十月份的有一天。呃，诗人北岛和芒克尔就聚在我的家里，我们呃决定发起今天作为一种文学杂志，可是它也是在民主墙上发表。嗯、um, ，One day in October,、uh, Huang Rui got together with、uh, Bei Da, who's a poet, and they、uh, went to his house and they decided to,、um, and Mangke,、uh, and they decided to,、um, to make. A new magazine. This is, uh, we, uh, some poets and some writers and the Communist Party, uh, meet, participate in the organization. Yeah, and then they decided to participate in the in this wall of democracy movement. Um, so you, your original background was not, um, you were not working as an artist, you were not、um, enrolled in the art academy at that time, and so I'm wondering how、um, you met with these poets and you met with Ma Desheng,、um, coming out of this really dynamic environment, how did you, why did you decide that you wanted to begin creating art? What was the, the, the real point where you started to create, start to painting? 我觉得，我觉得那个时候啊，其实，在文化革命结束以前，诗人们已经开始行动了。我们是在一种准备阶段，就是说，艺术家正在一种学习的阶段。我是从哦，七零年，呃呃，七二年回到，就是从内蒙古，呃，知识青年回到北京以后，决定当一个职业艺术家，呃，学习呃油画，学习素描，呃，但是诗人们。早在这个时间以前，就是展开了很多有意思的创作。这些创作呢，真正是打破了呃政治模式，呃，打打破了呃毛的语言模式。Uh, Inner Mongolia during the Cultural Revolution. Then, when he came back,、uh, he was set on becoming an artist. But there was,、uh, he was、um, influenced by,、uh, he had like inspiration already coming a long way be from before the Cultural Revolution. Uh, uh, 为什么我们后来举办了一个画会呢？其实这也是一系列活动的，呃，相互促成。其实也是一种啊，呃，时间和可能性。只要这个可能性，呃，没有阻止我们，嗯、呃，比如说当局没有抓到我们，嗯、呃，并且没有受到这个其他的威胁，那么我们就会使这个自己的能力发展的更大。那么。呃，今天在印了杂志之后呢，他又举办了一些公开的诗歌讨论会，这个非常给我启发，所以呢，我觉得我们应该行动，发起一个艺术团体，叫做后来名字叫做“星星花会”啊。<笑>
So after that, <coughs> beginning of uh, uh, 1979, uh, so we have an uh, opportunity uh, uh, to make some different group. Uh, for example, uh, the photographer uh, has the name is uh, April Photographer, Photographer Society. Society. They make first exhibition in um, in April uh, uh, in in that year. Mm -hmm. So it gave uh, gave us quite good huge uh, influence. So when the poem, the poeter uh, beginning have a uh, uh, the big social event mm. uh, is uh, choose the uh, Yuan Tan Gong Yuan, mm. the Yuan Tan Park. Mm -hmm. uh, so many people come to or enjoy uh, joining uh, that event. Mm. The, the poet uh, reading poem uh, and make a conversation with a uh, uh, student. Uh, that time it uh, gave me impact really I, I remember quite clear that after that day, I decide, I, I, I working, I understanding, decide to uh, make our mm. art group. Mm. Then immediately I'm going to look uh, my friend, Mother Sheng. Mm. Mother Sheng said, yes, <laughs> we start with that. And how did you find everyone else that was going to be part of the group? I think it's a kind of interesting part of the story is how did you, it's, it's one of the particularities of the stars is that it was a really big group of artists. Um, you weren't five or six, you were more than 23 and then you grew to be more than 30 people that were participating, um, all different mediums. So how did you find the other artists to participate? Were you introduced by friends or? Did you see their work at another show around Beijing? Uh, I'm uh, uh, learning art in, in Beijing. Uh, that time, I'm uh, ready to know uh, some independent artists. Mm -hmm. uh, they're working on pen the paintings in the uh, studio or the uh, flat. Uh, I know s some people, may maybe more than 10 people, is uh, our friend, a uh, small circle. So also Madashen have a small circle. Uh, Madashen knows no name groups mm. uh, quite well. Uh, then uh, through today magazine, uh, I I make Chilele. Mm. Then uh, through Chilele, Chilele introduced Wang Keping. It's a, it's a sm slowly we have we found more than 20 people. Right. So I, I wanted to include um, one of these images of, of the groups kind of gathering. So this is a dance, this was at Yuan Mingyuan, right? Yuan Mingyuan. Yeah, so at Yuan Mingyuan, so this is one of the places where people were, were gathering because it was a period of, I mean, lots of, um, lots of freedom, listening to music, reading poetry, reading new literature, looking at art. And, um, and so there was also this intermingling of different artistic groups. Um, and, and so, um, Okay. <laughs> so, um, so we're going to change pace a little bit from the context and talk about the first stars exhibition event. Um, the exhibition took place between September 27th and 29th in 1979, and the artists intended uh, for the exhibition to last one week. It was meant to last until October 3rd to correspond with the fifth national uh, art exhibition that will be happening in the museum um, behind them. So Huang Rei, could you tell us a bit about why, why did the stars ultimately decide to have the exhibition on this fence outside? Um, many there were other artistic groups during some of the poetry readings. There were exhibitions outside. 
at at the democracy wall. We have exhibitions, small exhibitions outside. Um, but the exhibition on the fence has really marked history. And I'm wondering, how did you decide to make this statement to show your work outside of the museum? Mi 非常开放态度的北京市美术家协会主席江峰最终我们决定是在美术馆so first, I have to I have to apologize because I don't know the context. I just I just uh, I, I'm really newly arrived. So um, I actually we were interested in several places before. So actually we have already we thought about Yuan Ming Yuan Summer Palace, and uh, so actually there were uh, there was not much uh, let's just say uh, governmental restrictions at that time. But uh, we you should know that we do. Um, we did uh, take that into consideration, but then, so what I want to say, what I want to say here is that the democracy wall is was actually a very good idea. Um, we used to we we asked some questions uh, to the associ uh, association of artists from Beijing, and uh, they actually gave us green lights to several activities. For example, in some in spring and in uh, in summer. They let us organize some of our interesting activities, but um, not all, um, because you know what we suggest here as art as art is kind of avant-garde. So it's kind of like very av avant-garde, and uh, so we have quite a complex, um, let's just just to say team. So mm, we don't know they don't know everyone, so they would not dare, you know. Um, to approve of everything we did, we do at that time. Um, so that's why finally we made up our mind to, you know, to do what we were doing uh, at that time. So the democracy wall and, uh, you know, a lot of things you were probably talking about earlier. So that's why we got this, we, we got this decision. Yeah. And so following this event, um, that was, so the, the first event presented more than 150 artworks um, of varying medium, and it really stands out for an exemplifying an experimentation in form. So I showed you a few works before. You're seeing there was wood sculpture, there was oil painting, there were woodblock printing, there were pen and ink drawing. Um, but there were also, something also important to point out was that there were different, um, different themes that were being addressed and different topics in the work. Um, the interests of the artists, they were presenting nude bodies, they were, um, these were political satire, there were, there were works about death, there were works about longing, um, there were works that were purely poetic and meditative, and these sorts of things just, they weren't happening before. This was really new and this was really exciting, and maybe when we look at those works now, it's not something we think when we see them, but um, it's important to put them back in that context that they were really, they were incredibly innovative. Um, and so the combination of so many different styles and techniques, it was really unique to the STARS exhibition, something I want to point out. The other groups at the time, um, Huang Rei mentioned the April Photographers Society. They were a photography society. There was the Oil Painting Research Association. This was a group of painters. 
Um, and that was, that was how the, the artist groups had been forming. Um, there were a number of these groups active, but the stars, they were very different. And, um, and so why did they decide to bring all sorts of artists together that were working in different medium? And I think that that's because the stars, and this has been said by historians, the stars were a mission-driven group. Um, and you had a goal that, that united you. Um, could you talk a little bit, Huang Rei, about what was the what was the the kind of inspiration behind the stars that that meant that it wasn't about um, just one medium; it was really about an idea. Uh, 我们是希望在这个变化当中做一种特别新鲜的东西 破切的，你需要和呃体制化新界限，呃，体制要求的都是呃歌颂体制的这些表现题材。那么我们说，肯定这种主题上是和体制区分的。再一个呢，就是你的这个表现形式上，我们当时我们当然一起是接受着这个
？我觉得是这样的，嗯、呃，有两个因素啊，一个是我跟这些人、这些摄影师呢都是朋友，呃，他们也是跟我们年龄差不多大，呃，像迟小宁认识的特别早，我可能认识迟小宁是在一九七五年，就是早在呃新星美展之前。嗯，当然，我也曾经被邀请去过一次迟小宁家里举办的星期五，呃，是星期五沙龙还是什么星期五沙龙？嗯，呃，然后四月影会举办的时候和，和和他们的这些人都认识了。为什么他们都过来支援我们，拍了那么多照片呢？一个是我们有自信，要做一个非常。震撼社会的展览会，他们也有这样、这样的一种呃感觉了。这个肯定是传染给他们。再一个呢，是我们真的是好朋友。你说啊，你你也过来做一点事情吧，都是好朋友。呃，这是特别重要的一个方面。呃，但是我们在呃，这个是第二个因素了。我说第二个理由，为什么？要把这些照片收集到手。其实虽然是好朋友，可是照片是他们的。呃，他们，你像比如说像李小斌，呃，他有很多收藏，他都不愿意去去处理他的那些胶片，他认为这个没有什么太大用处。啊，呃，我们为什么开始了这个活动呢？也就是这些年，呃，在这个。中国的这个整个呃，作为当代艺术，呃，它的这个发展史的梳理上，呃，星星呢，经常是呃被故意漏掉的，这是我们注意的啊，故意漏掉的。有些人呃，就是呃，一定要把呃自己的功绩连起来，呃，制造一些八五是中国当代艺术的开始，或者说八九是中国当代艺术的新开始。那么呃。我们决定来做自己来做这个事情，而不是靠一些专业领域的研究人员。那么就是这一段时间，呃，也是做了大量的工作，因为你需要需要和他们在一起，呃，跟他们一起聊天儿，呃，看看有没有能可能性合作，呃，出钱买，拿作品交换。我每一个艺术家都用我的作品，嗯，交。就换了，那么，对对 Sorry, that was a very long story. So I'm trying to, I, I was trying to catch up with him.、Um, so first of all, you know, all those artists, they were my friends, and、uh, so we used to, we were, you know, as young as as each other. So that's why, that's what made us friends.、Um, in 1975, actually, that was a very、uh, famous social events coming up, you know, every weekend. So the name is the Gala of,、uh, Gala of. Friday, so that's probably I don't know how to translate that. It's a, it's a, a、uh, Friday, the gallery, yeah, salon, yeah, exactly. So you know, from the my my very first time when I went there, so I met a lot of, so the people they became my friends later. So I met all those people there, and、uh, we talked to each other. We really appreciated each other. So I think I have to answer this question: Why we're doing this? First of all, I think because we were we have always been very confident. You know that we are able to offer something better.、Mm -hmm. That's you know first the reason is the confidence. The second of all, we were all very good friends. So actually, you know, friends would do whatever other friends need. So that's a very support. We were really、uh, rooting for each other. And the、uh, third of all, because but you know, I have to say, even if we were friends, but you know the photos and the, you know the art works and they belong to my friends. So some of my friends they didn't. Have time where they did ha、uh, they did not have this energy, you know, to collect or to arrange everything they used to do before. So that's that was kind of an opportunity that I did this for them, and I think that was a very good chance for me, you know, to have to collect all those photos from my friends.、Um, you know, what was happening at that time is, you know, from many books about you know the revolution. Uh, or the、um, uh, evaluation or evolution. I'm sorry. This is probably I'm trying to、uh, look for the best word so in the different books about you know this、uh, about the art history. They would I would say probably they did on purpose to ignore this part of、uh, of what we were doing because you know that time they wanted to some certain people they say 85 was the 
start of the, you know, the art for China. Some of them said 89 was actually the year uh, where everything started. But what we wanted to do um, is you know, to give the public to let them know what was really happening and uh, what was the reality. So what was the truth? What we're trying to do is just to, to give, you know, to give this truth to everyone. Mm -hmm. to they deserve to know the truth. Well, I guess it's very lucky to have had uh, the photographer friends that you did because um, the the photographs that are available in the in the publication they're they're quite exceptional. I I've put just a few. Um, so this is um, one of the images from the second uh, stars exhibition, and so it's quite exciting because in the documentary photos we're able to identify the artworks um, and the stars group is unquestionably mentioned in every history of contemporary Chinese art. Um, but rarely do we have uh, a lot of visibility on what were the artworks that they exhibited um, and, and to have a greater in-depth understanding of the primary <coughs> documentation. Um, and so these, these photographs are, are actually quite a revelation. Um, so I'd like to ask uh, just a few more questions. So looking back now um, at, the, at, the, at the publication, um, what are there any particular texts that we have in this book that um, that maybe coming from a background of someone who doesn't know about the star's history, we may not see the significance, but for you they were particularly important to include. I'm thinking about um, the co-editor of the book, So Li Shenting, who has um, made a, a really important contribution to the history of the stars. I wanted to know if maybe you would want to just say say a few words about about that. And about about his writing about your group. Uh, 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 但是呢他也做了很辛苦的事情特别是从早年新兴第一次露天展览之后他就写了介绍的文章以后第二次展览他又写了一次文章等到他就其实他到一九八二年八三年初的时候一九八三年一月号他主编美术杂志结果出了一个问题因为这一期的题目叫论抽象文他出了问题以后呢他就被勒令赶出去的美术杂志了以后呢有一段时间他就是中国当代艺术的教父他推动了这个他参与了那个八九艺术大展推动了这个
he uh, he was the chef editor for a magazine of art, but he actually unfortunately he made a very serious mistake about abstract beauty. So this idea, so um, he was um, he was uh, driven away by this uh, by this company, and then he became you know we can say the father of the uh, of the uh, of the art at that time of China. Um, so he did take part in the 89 art war, if I, I, I'm not sure about this definition. And so what he, did, he, he also did a lot of things to make more things happen uh, during this post-89 period. So what he was doing was quite important and, I, and nobody can ignore what he was doing. And uh, let's come back to the, your question. So if there are any particular articles or some uh, particular um, things I want to uh, especially talk about, um, because you know this main idea about Xing Xing was to talk about what happened before and uh, um, why, s some why do some people say Xing Xing was the starter, was the first person or the first thing to uh, to start the contemporary art of China. So I think that was actually very important for us to understand this kind of thing throughout this book. I think this is this is very important and uh, we have to know um, we have to understand you know all the, the answers to all those questions after reading this book. So I think this one is very important. So several times, Xing Xing talked about you know um, how to how to how to have a, a certain intervention into the society. Um, so if just if art just wants to you know to get close to the media and uh, you know to get to have more um, let's just say media influences, it it doesn't work. So actually, what we do is to well, it's it's not right what some of the, those people uh, what they were suggesting at that time. Thank you. Um, I think, yeah. <laughs> um, just uh, one kind of final line of questioning. Just talking about um, about. So this book is um, published, co-published by uh, the Chinese, uh, the Hong Kong Chinese University Association Press, and also the Stars Art Foundation. Um, and one of the most challenging things for researchers or collectors or people interested in contemporary uh, art, and particularly contemporary Chinese art, is having resources to educate yourself. Um, and so the AAA in Hong Kong is an incredible resource, um, the Asia Art Archive. And I think that the, the STARS Art Foundation has been doing something very special as well. And so behind this book, but also a number of different events over the course of this year to kind of open up and democratize the history of the group, um, not only to uh, non-Chinese language speakers, but also to people who would be interested to have more information, but they did not yet have access to those primary documents. Because I think that's one of the, the biggest challenges for researchers is you want to look at these things, but how, how do you find them? Where do you get access to them? So Huang Rei, could you just um, let us know kind of um, a little bit about the, the foundation and how you're trying and what are the plans for the future to, to kind of give availability to information about the stars. You have plans for a website as well, I think. Uh, well, 我们有很大的收藏 
呃，在中国不是很容易的一件事情，呃，但是我们尽量是，好像是做一个标本这样，呃，自己明确了自己的责任，呃，那么新兴基金会呢，呃，还有一个很大的任务呢，呃，是花了很多钱，去购买了，呃，已经去世的，呃，摄影师迟小明的影片，呃，这个影片题目就叫《星星美展》，呃，拍摄有。哦，十六毫米，呃，拍摄了四十七分钟，呃，这个影片我花了我们呃几十万美金，呃，去收购，因为他他已经去世了，再加上他的女儿很小，都需要抚养什么等等等等，这是复杂的事情。但是你如果你没有一个基金会是是没办法啊，来来构成这个对面对这样特别多方面复杂的情况，金钱啊，然后这个研究啊，什么各种各样的，嗯。So um, one of our most important missions was to collect, you know, uh, anything, the documents about history, what was happening at that time. Uh, we, we, I can't, I, I don't want to say that we are the best of this field, but we really tried our best to collect enough documents to prove people that we, uh, to prove people that we are, we were really, and uh, doing something good. Um, and uh, so for now, we have more than 500 of the pedicure of, the, you know, the old movies. And uh, so we, we, we have that. Plus, we have more than 2,000 articles and uh, documentaries, letters, like old, old letters, you know, of communication uh, of that time. Um, so what we're trying to do is to recover from the history and uh, to make people understand what was really happening from the history. That is what we are doing. I think I would call it an example. So I think we have to also define our responsibility. So I think this responsibility is on us. And I, I really want to make people know what was happening, to know what the truth is. Um, since your foundation, and uh, because we used to, we spend a lot of money uh, for, this is just one example, we spend a lot of money buying Chen Xiao, Chen Xiao, Chen, Chen Xiao. Uh, works and we made a movie of 47 minutes and that's, that took us a lot of money but we really were happy that we did this because that was that, th that's really worth it and uh, so that's probably yeah I, I hope that can answer your question yeah so it's a just a small correction so it's actually a video that Xu Xiaoning took in 1979 that is 45 45, 47 minutes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, <coughs> but I think it's um, it's an interesting, a really interesting example of kind of taking history in a way into your own hands, um, collecting those materials, and then offering them to people to look at them, to analyze them, and to and to continue researching from them. Um, so I want to mention that there are quite a few things happening um, this year. So there is the publication of this um, book that I'd encourage everyone to check out afterwards because there's a lot more information in here than what we can talk about today. Um, there's also an exhibition happening right now um, in Paris um, at the Maison des Voyages that has been curated by Bérénie Sancremé and Victoria Jonathan, and it's primarily um, documentary photos um, of the, the years around the stars and also some new artworks um, by Huang Rei, Ma Desheng, and Wang Keping, the founding members of the group. Um, and then there will be a little far for maybe some of you, but there will be another exhibition happening uh, in Beijing that, that I'm curating with uh, Dr. Wu Hong, and that's really on the basis of the archive. Um, that Huang Rei has collected and is graciously allowing us to look at and to study, and um, that will be at the end of December of this year. Um, so I have just one final question, um, which is looking back today, after 40 years, um, did the exhibition events have the outcome that you had hoped for? And what do you hope that the stars would mean today to artists? Long story. 
有特别复杂的历史传统和特别呃强固的一种呃专制形态，呃不容易，呃你还是要追求自由和追求自己的独立性，这样能才真正呃创造出自己。呃，也是使这个文明能够丰富的作品，这是肯定的，没有回避。呃，但是呢，星星在这一点上，它有一个启示，就是你不要中途退场，你也不要碰到压力就去退妥协。我觉得这个是对于后代，呃，可能是很大的一个呃样板作用吧。So um, I will probably answer the second question first of all. I think for the artists, um, so who have this power or have this influence to make themselves heard by the society, I think Xin Xin is kind of his role is actually a symbol, you know, for people to understand what's uh, what you know the artist or other uh, uh, civilians to understand uh, what they should do. You know, each one has things that I want to make people to send these messages to people. Is first of all. Keep going, no matter of what happens, and the second of all, still keep going, even if well, everyone will encounter some, you know, difficulties and uh, stress and everything on the road to the success. But you got, you, 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 you got to keep going. So this is the thing I want to share. 呃，也是对第一个问题，我觉得这样的回答也合适了。That's what I just said. I think answers also the first question. So probably, <laughs> I don't have to. Well, thank you so much, Huang Rei, and thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah, thank you also, Holly, very much for organizing this. Uh, thank you, it's an honor to have you here. Thank you to our two translators. Thank you for our patient audience. I'm afraid we went a bit over. Um, the book is, I'm going to add it now. It's quite last minute edition. I'm going to add it now to the computer so that you'll be able to buy it downstairs. Uh, 55 euros, is that right? And. Uh, 50, ah, discount just for, just for Asia now, 2019, so get it now. We have five, we have five copies, I'm, I'm having one. <laughs> we have to get more. Uh, anyway, thank you very much.